this is the September 16th uh, meeting of the Conway Select Board. Uh, we're being taped by FCAT. And within a couple days, it will be shown on our FCAT station and available for viewing on video on demand through our FCAT Media channel. It's on YouTube. You can go to FCAT Media and find all of our tapes there. Put yourself right to sleep. Uh, so we're going to start with the minutes. Have you read the minutes? I did. I just noticed that we had the wrong date listed on the agenda for the minutes, and I don't know that you can approve them. You could be right. I think that would be a, uh, a technical error. You'd be okay? It does have the wrong I don't, date. I don't think it's controversial. Um, okay. So then I would just have, you know, I, the, the discussion about the, the elevator, I thought, was... Wait a minute, wait a minute. It says September 4th. And that was the date of our... Oh, look at that. That was the date of our last meeting. We had well, on a Wednesday? The minutes no. themselves do the agenda. The agenda. The agenda oh, oh I see. Oh, yes, that's the, true. On the agenda, we have the date wrong. The, You're the right. Previous meeting. Well, minutes are on the agenda, and if somebody wants to complain, uh, I think mm. it wouldn't be considered entirely that important. So, so did you read the minutes? Yeah. So they were okay? No. No, I thought that the, the section on the town hall ele elevator was, uh, was, was the did, lift. Did, did, didn't capture the, capture the gist and the, the general zeitgeist yeah. of what was going on. Um, you know, that, that I, I, I was, I was, um, I thought that there should have been a, that, that to go forward with, with the lift was premature, that we should have had a plan for the whole thing to begin with. Or, um, and that uh, I thought that we should have answered the questions at town meeting about whether or not there was going to be the rag and shag parade there in the future. And I thought that by allowing the opinions of the questioners um, that were saying, you're doing this so that we can still have the rag and shag parade, and of Tom McCarthy that sat there and said, I want to... I, I, you know, I'd like a list that I can go up and watch the rag and shag parade, and for for no for them to never be corrected and say no, it's our intention to not have that uh, take place in that room anymore. Um, I I don't know if the if the vote would have gone the same, and I think that. So by the way, you yeah. you didn't like the select board meeting, or you didn't like no, the minutes? No, I said all this in the meeting, and it wasn't reflected in the minutes. So. It should be reflected in the minutes. That, but we did talk about the right shag parade. I remember talking about it. Right, but um, in in the minutes, it should reflect the fact that the town administrator and the town uh, and our chairman, our board chairman, said that they don't want the rag and shag parade there anymore. Um, John said that the highest and best use of that room is for offices, um, and that I, you know, that to me that that's what should have been. What, what I said in the meeting was that. We should have addressed that when people were asking about that, that I don't know if the vote would have come out the same had people been told. So, so do you think you and Lisa could fix these minutes? And the yeah, we'll just put them on for next time. All right. We could do that. All right. So we'll table these until next time. All right. But, but you know, you'll, you'll, you'll work with Lisa. I will work with Lisa. Thank you. And fix these. I will try to fix these. Great. All right. Uh, so we did have three vendor warrants um, that I believe we signed. Yes. I better make sure. Uh, we had a vendor warrant for 590454 and a payroll warrant, 118125 and a payroll deduction warrant for 28495 So I'll make yes. a motion that we accept those warrants. Yes, second. Yes. Uh, I'll say aye. Good. Okay. <clears throat> meetings that we went to this week. I'll say for me this was a busy week. I don't know about you, so why don't you go first? Yeah, I had the, uh, the first uh, state mediation with our teachers union. Um, and uh, yeah, we have several more appointments scheduled at four hours 
to just to try to get the mediator up to speed. Um, that's all I'll say about that. And in the meantime, the schools are just schools are doing well. Actually, yeah. The, the, yeah, yes, all is well with the schools. Good. Um, but I, I, I uh, we also had the first frontier, the, the first meeting of the frontier school committee, and I was um, surprised to see such a thorough presentation by the Deerfield Energy Committee that they are all over the grants for the electric car charging installation. And I did not know that there were grants to small towns um, that they require a 40% match, but that um, the state is paying for 60% and uh, Eversource will hook them up for free. Um, and there were costs as they were in. So the thing is $6,000 total for, each, for a dual whatever. Um, and that, they're at, that the energy committee is actually coming with the project to put a couple of them in the frontier parking lot for the use of students just blew me away. Um, That's great. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, but we haven't talked to the board much about chargers, but yes, uh, I'd love to see a proposal from the Conway Grammar School to put in a charger in their parking lot. Personally, I think that's where it makes the most sense. We, we, we could also get grants to put them behind the town hall or over on the ball field. So and the big discussion was how you want it. So going forward, um, there's whatever, $500 per year in electricity costs, basically, for each one, or some 600 And it's whether you want to bill that, whether, whether you want that free to, be, to the people using it. Um, and they talked about how Greenfield started with a couple of free ones, and now the new ones that were put in the garage, um, the Olive Street garage, cost $1.25 per hour, but people are using it. And if you do it at something like that, there will be no carrying, annual carrying costs for it at all. And they had the presentation from the Deer, uh, Deerfield Academy person that said there was no, there's been not a single issue. They put theirs in in 2014. There's never been a single maintenance issue with them. Um, so I, I was very impressed with all that. But it looks like going forward. Do you want to pressure the grammar school to consider this? Well, it's the town. I don't know that that's a school thing, is it? It's the town. It's a town thing. It's a Deerfield Energy Committee thing. It would be a Conway Energy Committee thing versus to the select board, and 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 they're doing that as part of a package because I think Eversource prefers it that way. Or, or when you get the electrician to set them up. If we want to go more into this in detail, I can make it into an agenda. We could do that. So, but yeah, um, I don't know that that's a school committee thing. Could be wrong, but I, if it was, <clears throat> we would have been doing it ourselves at Frontier. I think I don't know. So okay, that's my meetings. Great. So I had a bunch of meetings. Uh, I I went to the uh, Franklin County what's called the Radio System Review. Uh, we have a bunch of emergency radios all around Franklin County. They don't work very well. Uh, FERCOG has been managing a long process to look at how to replace them or upgrade them, fix the ones that we have or what to do, and the state is offering to uh, help us convert to an all digital system. And, and we've had a couple meetings of all of the fire chiefs and police chiefs and people who are interested in radios and, and there's just always more information that we seem to need. So we're gonna be having at least one more meeting to talk about radios, but it's it's moving along. Uh, we had a meeting of our of our Comcast franchise agreement last uh, a week ago Friday. Um, that's moving along. Uh, I don't know how many people went to it, but we had about twenty five or thirty people to. Um, join Lori Sanders and Fred Morrison, who are two naturalists, to walk around the South River Meadow. Uh, Fred is a bee expert. Lori is the expert who's helping us figure out how to turn the South River Meadow into a park and into a sort of a nice space and getting rid of the invasives and worrying about the critters that live down there and where to put parking and all of that. And so. Periodically, Lori comes and she, she leads a walk around the meadow, and if people are interested, it's wonderful. Uh, we had a Conservation Commission meeting. We did have a meeting that I didn't attend, and I was hoping you might mention it. I assume you attended it, but with the Historical uh, Society. 
I got there just towards the end of it because I had the Frontier School Committee meeting and the, the education on parking the chargers was lengthy, but yeah. yeah. I was in the Conservation Commission meeting, so we missed it, but there was a standing room only, um, <coughs> yes. you know, virtually needing the, you know, Bob Baker to come and worry about how many people were crowded into the hall. The count was 80. Is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. It was a very well attended meeting. A lot of, that's a room this size. Uh, a couple of us with electric vehicles joined the fire department last Wednesday to show the fire department if they have an emergency with electric vehicles, how they might take the electrical vehicles, you know, open up the hood and separate, the, make the battery safe so that then they can do something. So it wasn't really a town event, but it was the, the fire department uh, every, every Wednesday they have a training session. So I figured I would. Uh, you know, we'll thank the fire department for letting us come. And and anyway, that's it for me. So. Good. So we have a six fifteen with the board of yes. assessors. So let's go. Um, yeah. Uh, so should we let's let's start off with the nuclear issue? Public comment. Um, well, do we have any public comment? No. Other. I, I didn't see. Uh, yeah, I, I had been expect. I had been thinking there might be one. You said there might be one in your in your packet about that. I, I think you know about that. Um, I'm still trying to find out information. So, can we do yours quick? Yeah, certainly. So this is Ben. He's yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're here to follow up on the uh, town meeting of last spring's resolution. Um, Article 31 was to align the town of Conway with the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons. Uh, so aligning with the treaty um, and taking all necessary steps to align Conway with the treaty would uh, include the following. Prohibiting all uh, nuclear related activities within town limits, making uh, a town policy to reject contracts with nuclear weapons companies, uh, and divesting any town funds from nuclear weapons companies. Uh, and so we can offer we as uh, NuclearBand.us, uh, I'm here with Vicki Elson and Tim Wallace, um, is not here, but he also is part of the organization. Uh, we offer guidance in support of these uh, actions. Uh, I've, brought, I've provided copies of the treaty itself, a checklist for what a town or city can do to align with the treaty, uh, a list of the companies, the 28 companies that profit from making nuclear weapons in, in, uh, uh, in the country, uh, in the world. Uh, and copies of uh, Northampton's executive uh, policy order and uh, home rule petition, uh, which they, uh, which the, the town of Northampton uh, did in order to get around the uh, home rule issue with rejecting contracts, and also in terms of uh, you know having you know, an example of, of what town policy might look like. Um, so uh, we also can can offer the pro bono services of a divestment expert. His name's Nick Nick Cantrell, and he works for Thompson Financial Management. Uh, so he could go through all of the town's investment, if if you have any, in these 28 nuclear uh, companies, uh, to uh, pick any out that would be troublesome. And finally, I'd just like to add that um, uh, the treaty also uh, the resolution also called for the clerk to send a copy of the resolution to the state, and um, or rather to uh, various uh, representatives of the town uh, at, in the state legislature and the federal legislature um, to um, signal support uh, for the treaty. And also, uh, right now there are a couple of bills before uh, in committee right now in Boston, uh, S2157 and H3239 uh, would uh, create a citizens commission uh, that would explore all the ramifications of um, severing all ties with uh, nuclear weapons companies in the, for the state of Massachusetts. Um, so that's coming up, that hearing, hearings for those bills are coming up on the 24th. Uh, so any action that the town could take uh, before then would be tremendously uh, appreciated um, if it were just, uh, you know, sending a copy of uh, the town's resolution to the state and state representatives <coughs> before that date. Um, so yeah, if you have any, any questions, please feel free to ask. Vicki is here to support mm -hmm. uh knows a lot more than i do but that's you did my a great spiel. job though don't you think oh uh, very good <laughs> did i get <laughs> it in time is it is no it no you good do you have any comments well the, just a couple of general <laughs> yeah. comments so um 
the, what we did before was a resolution, right? Not a bylaw. Right. So yeah. resolutions are sort of non-binding. Right. Certainly. Yeah. No. No. We're um, we're bylaws are binding. Yeah. Um, so, so, so did Northampton do something that was more binding than what we they did? They made an executive work. They did. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, I mean, the fact that now they need a home rule petition to not do the things they promised to do. And I, I don't, I don't like know great. what the town meeting equivalent of an executive order is. Mm-hmm. It's not a bylaw. So I guess the question would be, but, like, what, what action could the select board take uh, after you know, follow, following up on the resolution of the town? I don't, I don't know if, if that's something within your purview or jurisdiction. I have no idea. I, I noticed the list included several of Massachusetts's largest employers, um, and that uh, the thing that kind of concerns me is, you know, we do business with our local bank, or I, I assume one of the local banks right around the corner, and banks have tentacles and all kinds of stuff. And so, sure. the, you know, the, is it just the direct, you know, the, to what extent, when does the seven degrees of whatever. Right. We, and we originally included banks when we first started the campaign a couple of years ago, but that was just too complicated. Yeah. So it's just directly the, the 28 companies. And we're encouraging them because this is an international treaty and the U.S. is really bringing up the rear on it. But it's it's going to be the case that nuclear weapons are illegally, are, are illegal internationally. And we're, uh, we feel that it's prudent for like Massachusetts and for these companies and for our country to be ready for when that happens. Um, and so we're, what we're doing, of course, because there are two emergencies threatening our existence on this planet, uh, we're encouraging them to take the uh, resources that are currently being spent on nuclear weapons and shifting them over, converting to green technologies, like your electric car, that, um, that can address climate uh, crisis. So, so, uh, so I, I, I mean, I think one of the things that we could do is that we could we could send a letter of support. I, I mean, I really feel like right. when people in town voted for the resolution that we passed, they so send the copy of the resolution. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's right. Uh, um, other, you know, I'm not sure. You know, I I I would I, I'd be comfortable. You know, I'm not comfortable with the board doing things that the people in town really did not ask us to do. Um, okay. Whether I personally support it or not, or it doesn't matter. You know, um, I I, w- I would be comfortable. I mean, if the board were to support Tom, you know, looking into some parts of those that we might be able to do that wouldn't that we think the town could support, or we could hold some hearings with folks in town to see if we can get support. But um, did the resolution not talk about divestment and boycott? So the resolution, it, it only mentioned taking necessary steps to align with the treaty. Mm-hmm. Right. Uh, and so right. In, implicated in that are the steps that yeah. were laid yeah. out. Yeah. But mm-hmm. if that were something uh, at least that you'd be willing to explore, I think that would be... I, 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 I'm all for exploring, you know, yeah. especially if we thought some of those things that we could, we could get the people in town to support, but it's a much more concrete action than I think people felt. I mean, we commonly do vote for resolutions mm-hmm. of support for you know what we what a majority of the people then think is a good idea um, but they don't but if, if that level of detail had been presented at a town meeting uh-huh. I don't think it would have passed I don't know about that uh, and, I don't you know, know. The, it didn't uh, the, the, this kind of there, there's sort of an umbrella you always get opposition to anything like this because there's a segment of the population that just if it ain't meat and potatoes and just the town budget, they just don't want to be bothered with it. It doesn't matter what the topic is, and and I, you know, I, I understand. That I want to get home. I'm here to do my civic duty, kind of a thing. And this is these things are so beyond our town, whatever. But um, I, I always support anybody because I, I think the town has a long, rich history of weighing in on the issues of the day. And you know, we're the town that in 1790 something mm-hmm. declared war on France. Mm-hmm. And. Um, so you know, we we're, it's it's in our DNA to give our opinion on the issues of the day. Um, but I, I, you know, I, that's not that's an opinion that's not shared amongst the entire select board. I know that. Um, that, uh, that you know, but I would encourage like further town meeting warrant. You know, and, and citizen petitions are great. They get people involved. You know. I, I, I think that that's a great method of getting something, but on the town warrant because you get support in advance and people know 
in advance what the issues are. Is that um, that would be for next year's town meeting? Or if we're going to have one in the fall, which we always do. Which right. we may, right, um, which we're hoping to. But time's a ticking on that, I guess. But um, usually there's one in late October kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. um, that, and, and lay out the specific mm. things that you want the town done in your name in, in or for mm -hmm. this cause. And, um, and then there's no wiggle room. Right. And it gets done. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So, so I, 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 you know, I think a motion would be to have me uh, forward the letter forward to with the resolution. Uh, yeah. Yeah. specific people. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, yeah. So, so uh, we have a motion to... No, we okay, need to I, say specific so, people. <laughs> so, can I suggest some people? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, State Representative Natalie Blaze, State Senator Adam Hines, U.S. Congressperson Richard Neal, U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren, U.S. Senator Ed Markey, and President Donald J. Trump. So we would add the Greenfield Recorder to that list. And the, the Greenfield, Greenfield Recorder. Recorder. Seconded. And the governor? <laughs> and you, did you mention the governor? But maybe... I, well, no, that, it's not mentioned here, but... Okay. Well, okay. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, me too. Also, the, uh, the committee, you know, that our state legislation is in, you know, if, if we could just get a copy of the letter, we could we could bring it to the committee. Or if you want to send it to the committee, it'd be great. Um, I can, do, do you have the email There would be two address? committees, one for the Senate, one for the House. And right, this is a joint but committee. This, is, this is a joint committee. This is the okay. um, Veterans and Federal Affairs Committee. So if you can just get it to the Veterans and Federal, Federal Affairs Committee for the state, that would be fantastic, actually. And if you're stuck for an email address, I can get you one. Yeah, I great. don't have it for sure. Uh, and yeah, I can get that. Okay. So if, if you're going to mention the bills, I, I would like to update you on the, the correct numbers because the numbers in the resolution were for the draft version. Yeah, okay. Um, they're currently H323. Are you going to leave us a copy of the document you were reading from? I can leave, yes. So yeah, I can leave you with, with all that. Okay. Uh, H? 3239. Uh huh. And S2157. Okay. We have federal legislation pending as well, just so you know. In order to be the law that you have to spend more on education than nuclear weapons every year. <laughs> yeah. Just right. a good place to start. So I'll 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 propose that as as a motion. I'll second it. And, and we'll I, make it into that. Yes. And, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lisa, you got uh, all that. She was typing away, so I trust she did. And when when the town has completed all the steps of making sure it's disconnected from the industry, you get a beautiful certificate <laughs> suitable for framing. Uh, Make sure the camera that. sees that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you can put it right down here. here. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you very thank much. You. Yeah, thank nice you. Nice to see you. Nice to, nice see, to you. see you. So should I leave? Sure. Copies here. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. And would you like a chair with arms? I think you'd probably be more comfortable, huh? Maybe. Oh, yeah. They'll be coming off to the table. Come out, Vanessa. Nice to see you. You too. Yeah. Jensen is the. Don't be coming up to the table. But. Until next time. Or you can, stay, you can stay back there. You don't have to move. Oh, I'm, Kids, I'm grandkids. It's easy for me to get up, so I got to get. We want to make sure you're on oh, camera. Right. Make sure I'm what? On camera, right here. You know, maybe you don't want me to do that. No, no. <laughs> Have you gotten a couple of emails? I, I, had, I, had, I, had, I had 605. Oh, yeah. You're next. I need your I'm email. Oh, oh. I'm in a good chair. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, here, what? Don't give this one. You take this one, Barbara. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then Russ can move So in. we'll do this. Yeah. Great, that's, that's all great. I have. Yes, this will oh, be entertaining. She's the okay. Next one. Okay, I'm just here for the safety uh, of the children that take the school bus in Conway. Uh, I, maybe I think we that's what I have. Um, okay, thank you. Parsons Street is now a bus stop. Almost 30 Thanks. years ago, I came before the select board, different people, and had bus stops signs put in, which are now covered by trees and bent over. And as Deb at the bank says, nobody sees anyway. Um, I took a picture in South Deerfield. I, I made a big one. Of, uh, you took a... Yeah. You knew I was coming. Yeah. So that... So it's big, it's fluorescent, you can see it. Um, the buses have been running 20 to 30 minutes late this year. It's not the bus driver's fault. I think they've been put on undue stress because of the vastness of Conway and perhaps the children that live out there. 
So I've been able to sit at the bank for 45 minutes and watch traffic go at a clip mm. with no slowdown. And I said to my neighbor who was a state trooper, if I had a ticket book, it would be empty. And I, I threatened to go up there with my hair dryer and pretend <laughs> I was <laughs> doing radar. I was so mad. So this is an it issue. Work. It would probably really work, actually. It does work. <laughs> There's a lady on the Facebook that sits there all day and does it. Oh, that's so, so these are the, the beat up signs. That my daughter got off, beat up, caught in the trees. So these are the current signs that we have. These are the current signs that we have. And they did a great job. But as Deb says, nobody sees them anyway. They're, they're one's hip, they're behind the trees. And then I saw in South Deerfield, fluorescent. Uh -huh. And then I noticed the other day, since I was uh, coming to the meeting, uh, at the Alice property, uh, where Ginny and Dale and uh, Charles lived, uh, they once had children who are now in their 40s. There's a, there's a sign that says, school bus up ahead. They don't need it anymore. They don't now, yeah. We can move it down. Two of them. Who's in one, one's Bobby and Ida's house. They have children, don't they? I don't know. Yeah, the house beyond Charlie's. <coughs> it used to be Ida's. Ida who? Alice. I don't yeah. know of any. You know, other they have a little farm stand out front. Yeah, they have children. Have I, well, I don't know. Well, maybe they need it. So. Um, then this morning, my husband informed me that at 7:30, there is at least seven children that take the bus to Frontier. So there's another group of children that need protection from these people that are flying to work. Probably a group that goes to tech before that. Mm. Yeah. So it's just a simple matter of seeing it's a bad curve. People have died there. Yes. Kenny has scraped up more dead animals. Uh, we've lost two fawns and a fox just in the last week. At the, it's a cutover. And it, it's, a, it's a dangerous, dangerous spot. I would just like to petition for new signs or painting fluorescent on the old ones and maybe having them cut back because they're there already. It says school bus stop ahead. And the, and I, I take issue with the poor bus drivers who have to drive, fa they're, they're driving on a clip too, to meet the schedules. And I want to know why and uh, why I have to wait 45 minutes when I, I used to be the first stop. And at 3.05, the kids were there. And, and they're just doing their, I love my bus driver, but I think he's mad because I'm doing this. I'm not mad at him. Uh, all the bus drivers are, are just wonderful people and they take good care of the children. They don't let them off unless a parent is there because of a concern for their safety. So I want to give a plug to the bus drivers, but I think they're being pushed. Mm. And the speed is being pushed and the trucks are going like crazy. It's on a curb going down and then they have to really jam going up. And Deb says it, sees it all day long at the bank. She says it's just terrible. Do you know who regulates that? I, I don't know. I'm wondering if Rod out there might know. But can we move if, these well, signs? Well, it, it, would take, it would take state approval to do anything approval. with a sign, but that doesn't mean that it can't be done. Yeah. Right. Because I obviously, had put, I had them put in it. almost 30 years ago, mm -hmm. and they're just decrepit now, and uh, and there was no children for a long time, and now there are. There's going to be two more children in the grammar school next year. They just moved into Woody and Barbara's house, and mm -hmm. they're going to be going there. They're still going to Amherst right now, but uh, they're going to be going. So the, the bus will be full in the morning and afternoon. And I'd like to you know, not hear those brakes squeak. Well, today the brakes went out on my grandchildren's bus. No. And, my, and my granddaughter says it's a death trap. She's five years old. <laughs> oh, gosh. But there was another bus ready waiting at the bank. But what if there wasn't? It's going down a big hill. So I'm hoping that the bus company is maintaining their buses. They're not pushing their bus drivers to drive so fast. What is the route that makes them so late getting into and from school? And, and if South Deerfield can have a fluorescent sign, why can't we? It's on the same highway. So it's just for children's safety. It happened up in uh, Plainfield two years, three years ago. And I don't want, it's because of the keeping a schedule, I don't want it to so, happen. Yet. So just a couple of things that you're, that you're raising that, you know, I don't know if you, I know you, you, you called me on, on the telephone when I, I spoke to you about this last That's week. That's right, Elise's. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't call you. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, um, 
and I, I, I talked about um, uh, calling the principal about the, a, a principal about especially yeah. about your issues with the bus company. Because right. I hadn't. I have not had. I've been out straight with some other paperwork, um, and I, I meant to see Kristen. This, I used to pick my granddaughter up because preschool has to be picked up, and I, see, I saw her all the time, and uh, and Laura, and they're and they're chaotic at dismiss. So I have to find a time during not dismissal and entry when I can speak with her about the buses and but 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 I know I, you know my, my uh, I, I know um, I, I've known Lenny for five six years like pretty well now of because I just have to deal with him a lot just yeah. for frontier yeah and I, I like the guy um, oh Lenny's and, and, great and uh you know, I, I think I think he would be horrified to, to 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 hear someone's opinion that his bus drivers are rushing through it and they're pressed for time. I think the whole schedule is set up so that they drive at speed limit and carefully with extra time built in. You see them pulled over at the side of the road regularly because they they're, don't even need that extra they're time. Right? They're going and, fast. You can ask the people at the bank; they see it. And they're not, you know, they're not supposed to be. They're not supposed to have to go fast to. For any schedule, I know that's. I've not. had to call the school and say, "Where is the bus?" So they make it back to the grammar school after doing the high school. Yeah, run, and at one right? time, at when my daughter was taking it, uh, the, all the kids got on at one time, and school, the high school mm -hmm. started later, which was so much better. Yeah. I don't know why we can't just run one bus route and back. That's a tougher problem. The older yes. kids were very good to the little kids. Yeah. But uh, that would be one option, is just run one bus route. If it's going to be constantly every the day. The times don't work out. I know, 7.40, who starts school at 7.40 with no homeroom? We do. So that, that, that is my issue. I'm going to have to deal with it for quite a while. Um, what else do I have? Yeah, um, the, the speed was just knocked me over. I've sitting there for 45 minutes, many days, just big, big trucks coming into town and out of town. And then I saw the buses do the same thing. And I saw that they're running very, very late. And there's a reason. And they're trying to, I think they're just trying to, you know, get the kids. Make up time. Making up time. Yeah. Uh, who, who, who does the bus schedule? I mean, I assume the school does, and they negotiate it with the bus company. Right, so the, the director, for Union 38 director of transportation is actually our business manager. Um, who is uh, new on the job this year, and I think she's working on a great, I hope so, I know. Okay. The bar is low, it, um, but. Uh, it's an issue, <laughs> but. Um, but I, I think she's working on great. So she, she could, but because it's elementary school, our, the, our principal gets along great with the bus company. And, um, actually, they think Conway's the best town to work with of the three. Um, Until I complained. No, no, no. <laughs> well, I complained no. almost 30 years ago, too, because and we work with him all the time. Like they, he just they just discovered um, how how to do the their Sunderland route with one fewer bus. Oh. So so just in this past week, I've been on behalf of Frontier and the towns. We're renegotiating our contract to get some savings out of the one less bus that we need every day, oh. um, which is going to be good for everybody. But you know, rather than just doing that, they they call he, he's an honest guy, and that's what I'm trying to get to. That you know, rather than just doing that and pocketing the difference. He calls up and says, I want to do this, and uh, let's talk about how it's good for everybody. Yeah, so. there's not a lot of kids on the bus, mm -hmm. which, you know, I don't, just don't know why they can all ride together. That's a whole nother it's story. a whole nother <laughs> ball but game. But when the my little when little I, buses cost more. The thing that, <clears throat> that drove me to come years ago was when my daughter got off, she, the, the kids would have to yell, stop, because they forget there was a bus stop there now. And she'd get let off in the rocks on 116 and she'd have to walk up 116, cut through the oh. bank parking lot through business hours. And she said, but mom, my bus driver's blind in one eye and can't see out of the other. <laughs> so I, I, came to the, the I came to the select board. <laughs> so that's that's my issue. It's it's just, I don't want the bus drivers to be mad at me because I think they're wonderful. I think But, but I'm hearing there. two issues. One is the, the schedule. Yeah. And the other one is the signs. And they're signs, yeah. really separate. Um, the signs, is that something that we could do? or that we Well, could we could also do, but you know, may, I, I'd like to have the principal and the bus company coordinate that there might be, you know, you might be able to dip into the parking lot and drop the kids off in the parking lot of the bank instead of on the road surface where 
that that might be a safer option than it's it's, but, it's bus hours. Yeah. Well, morning is uh, not bus hours. It's not bank hours, but afternoon is, and it's yeah. dangerous for the little the little ones to get off. Mm -hmm. I didn't want her getting off in the cutting through bank traffic. Bank traffic? Where do they get ten customers a day? I got rear-ended in that bank parking lot. <gasps> At the ATM, some, a big truck backed up and lifted my car That's away. That's because everybody's expecting no cars to be I there. Know. <laughs> I know. So it's a simple issue. I won't take up any more of your time because yeah. I'm sure there's much more important things. It's just updating what's already there. Who are the kids that are riding about? How many? Um, I did, there may be people in the Alice house, and I don't know about it, but yeah, there are no, we signs We have a state there. law that says anybody that might possibly ride the bus every day, they have to have a seat on the bus. Right. And even though they know after the first day that of the 50 kids that are on their route, they'll get four every day, yeah. um, they still have to, by law, have a seat. And they've yeah. been unwilling to grant exemptions to rural schools for that. Well, um, my, my granddaughter says, all my bus driver says is, find a seat, find a seat. So she finds a seat, and of course there's no seat belts. So she thinks that's wonderful. So that's a, that's another a whole other thing. That's, <laughs> a whole that's a federal thing. So yeah. you know that's yeah. like these buses are old. They're going, you know, they're they're being pushed. Some I said, this bus driver was like clockwork last year. If I wasn't there, he'd take the kids and bring them right back to the school. So but I the sign there. issue seems really the sign, the sign issue is a really big thing because yes. it's. It's yeah, I'm, I, I'm happy to look into so, the sign issue, and the other things really have to be dealt with by the okay, school. By the school. All right. Well, so, do you want do you want my picture in my? Sure. So sure. for you to do that, I don't think we need a we a motion, or would you like us to? No, that's yeah, fine. We, we it's, it's just a, yes. a question no, for fine. the selectmen. What can you do? Yeah. I appreciate yeah. anything. Thank you very much. Thank you very uh, much. <laughs> can you put your uh, phone oh. number or or email or something on yeah. there? raising another family. <laughs> okay. The state of the country, right? <sighs> Grammy is it. Yeah. Yeah. Today Grandpa was. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So now a joint meeting with the assessors. Mm -hmm. The classification hearing. For the classification hearing. You want to take it away? Sure. Uh, the classification hearing is for the purpose of determining whether or not Conway will have a split tax rate. It does nothing to set the tax rate, but it does make this determination in years past. We have never split the tax rate for good reasons. 88% um, of our total taxable value is in residential property. The Let's see, there's another, it's hard to make out on this copy, but another 6% or so is in commercial. And even though that sounds attractive, oh, we have that much commercial, let's split the rate and hit them, or the industrial. The commercial also includes everyone who's in chapter classification. So it would be a terrible burden to those who are still working in agriculture, are uh, so functioning managed farmland, for, yeah, forest. Oh, okay. That gets rated as commercial, yeah. Commercial, industrial, and open space. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So the question is, is it uh, desirable to shift the burden of the taxation onto the commercial, industrial, open space and away from the residential? Um, and what's the final six percent? Oh, that's a combination of industrial and so forth, yeah. Yeah. Um, we have the... Is it the, 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 the dam uh, up in... Yeah. The, the hydroelectric plant is puts $10 million in there. Yeah. Over yeah. $10 million in value, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And they've just done some work on it this year, apparently. So I would hope that it might be going up next year. Yeah. And Eversource is in there, too, anytime they're working on their... High tension lines and all. We picked up eight hundred thousand in new growth from them this year, so that's always helpful too. <coughs> helpful unless you're trying to get a school regional school budget passed. Uh, I know. I know. So what's your recommendation? 
our recommendation, as usual, as usual. is yeah. that we adopt a, a residential factor of one and do not split the tax rate. Now, this requires, uh, yeah, let's see, I just brought some of the, of the information over. This is simply from town meeting. This was the tax rate, uh, the tax rate recap data. Other sources where we used money, we had uh, a substantial amount of free cash. What was it? 438000 to start with, certified as free cash. And we now have a balance of 166 plus left that could be utilized. So using free cash and money that's in the various stabilization accounts has worked to manage our situation very, very well. It really has. Yep. That is, instead of raising an appropriate for items. That's right. Instead of town meeting. Is right. It gave, that's right. Instead of paying for those items through taxation. Yes. I should make that clear. Yep. Are there any towns our size that ever do? I've not have, heard of any. Have a different. I I never have either. Yep. Uh, yeah. Maybe it, do, back it doesn't in the seem like we would change our general. We we wouldn't be easing the burden much on the residents of the town no. unless we increased the commercial properties incredibly. Right. right? I mean, and 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 our commercial yeah. and industrial property. Well, if you look at what we have for what would normally be called commercial properties, you know shop, store, thing, that, that type of thing, they contribute to the town in so many other ways, too. Yes, yes. And hire local people. So that's a factor to keep in mind as well. Yeah, to, to me, the, um, the split thing with commercial never made that much sense for us. But what, I, what, what they told us to always, to, to, what they told me to ask um, in my select board selectman training thing yep. was about the split rate for town center and we uh, the valuation in town center is not substantially different from the valuation of similar houses elsewhere in town I happen to be looking at it today and actually there are a couple of areas in town where maybe the land value should go up a little because they've become very desirable and we'll be looking at that at our revaluation and recertification next year. Um, it may call for a different land schedule for those areas, boost them up higher than, than others. But that's not a split rate. That's, that's not that's a split rate. That's no, that's a, a separate valuation yes. recognizing added yes. value. Yes. Yeah, that's a question there. Yep. Be because, you know, and, and this was brought up in the debates over the town garage um, that people that live on 116 yeah felt that all every year they subsidize the whole rest of the town um to the extent of the highway department because they don't if you live on 116 the state takes care of your road yeah and, and you don't you don't need plowing you don't need any and that did um and yet it's not reflected in anything that the town does um it's reflected in the, the snow budget that doesn't have to include those six and a half miles or eight and a half miles yeah, or whatever but, it is um, of 116 through town I suppose I mean I get, it's just a cost of living in a community is what I tell people and mm -hmm. exactly the same thing about people who say that they shouldn't pay for the schools because they don't have children right, right. right. yep yep so um, yeah we would like you to officially adopt a res or we recommend you uh, officially adopt a residential factor of one, which would keep a single tax rate that's going to be fairly close to last year's. There are still some figures in another part of the calculations that are um, not totally set yet, but it's going to be close to last year's. So, Luke, so you're, 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 you're telling us the They'll just move. Oh, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Because that was nicely said, and I yeah, didn't want to try to mangle it <laughs> by repeating it. But the decision we have to make is do we adopt a factor of one? That's right. right. The That's fact what you started yes. with. Yeah. It was a bit longer than it would be for the a The fact month. that you, you, you're still a little 
squishy on exactly what the tax rate will be mm -hmm. is a separate issue that That's I know right. you often like to come and tell us about it. But well, but yeah. but it's not part of the resolution that we have to make any no. decision on. So, no. just, so just moving so, for a residential so rate of one. You move a residential us. rate of one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and uh, so and I'll second your motion. Okay. And 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 the vote is. And yes. the vote is aye. Yes. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Unanimous. So, yes. yes. I also um, need, we need to inform you that the LA5 excess capacity for the current fiscal year is $296,922 plus pennies. Now that is that is the buffer which we have beyond which we are taxing. We still could tax to fill that buffer we needed to. We, the town, if it had to could have a higher rate and use up that buffer, but we don't have to, which is good. We're keeping a good solid buffer every year. So we're within a couple hundred thousand, a little more than that. 296. So, so 300, almost 300,000. Yep, last year we uh, were at Our maximum rate that we could extract with That's taxes. Right. Uh, and last year it was 159,000. Uh -huh. So we've increased uh -huh. our buffer, uh -huh. which is good. Yeah. Yep. Great. Yep. And we'll so. be getting more of the now, not two nights ago at the Frontier thing that the, you know, we went without a business manager for a year and we had the consultant on the yeah. thing and they were extra cautious and conservative. <coughs> and so um, the school is not allowed to have more than 5% free cash from mm -hmm. year to year. Mm -hmm. And the amount at the close of the books at the end of the school year ended up being double what we're allowed. So that, that's going to be refunded to the towns post haste. Wow. Um, and there will also be money from the alteration of this uh, transportation budget that is budgeted but won't be spent from the one less bus, which is a significant number. Tom, has anything, nothing's come through to the town yet? To no, this is just happening. This is just mm. happening, but it's... So we can't take that. We this can't take that into account, darn it. But uh, yeah, call, call, if you want to call Shelley, mm -hmm. at the, the, business, the new business manager of the school, and yeah. ask for ask for current numbers. Mm -hmm. She'll be happy to give them to you. Yeah, no, Mike would have had to have received official notice. It's in the works. Of that, but that'll look good next year. Yes, it will. It really will. Yeah. So the process of this, I like to have the red one here to keep me keep them straight, is to ask the members to vote. Uh, oh, you did already, but ask you to sign by hand here as put selectman and the date with your name, and then. We need to have your uh, electronic signatures on Gateway. Usually, you vote to authorize Tom or me to sign for you. So we should want us both to sign? Uh, you can sign here. below it, yes. Down here? Sure, yeah. That'd be fine. Yep. And you need to vote that, too. Easiest to authorize. And put selectmen. Add anyway. selectmen, if you would. Okay. Yeah. Because we have to sign it too. We three. Yep. So this is this is the the, the tax allocation that we that we already voted, or is this something else? That's what you already voted. That's what we voted. Yes. Yeah. So the thing that has still to be voted. You, you said is we need just the authorization to sign. Yes. Yes, to sign electronically. So I'll make a motion that I authorize the select board. Uh, uh, how about authorizing Lee? Oh, okay. Did I authorize the assessors or Lee for the, the assessors yeah. uh, to sign the uh, but the, uh, the allocation? Right. And then you and you said something about uh, about an electronic signature. It has we, to go into Gateway, which is the Department of Revenue's. Um, digital face and they will only accept electronic yeah. signatures so supposedly you both are registered with the town clerk with a, a name and a yes. so forth I but, suspect we are I, I but I will go in that. this way yes. I go in under my name I see and you can use that and I put in your name and then I send them a copy of this and we'll send them a copy of the vote great yeah authorizing me to do it and accepting number one so I'll make a motion and so moved. Yes, second. Yes, and Thank I. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. I, so we, I, sometimes we don't quite get the vote out. So there. that's good. <laughs> that's better for everybody. Yeah. Okay, we're all set. All right, great. We Thank you all very much. Thank you very well, much. One thing I wanted to mention. 
you, Tom. I thank you very much yeah. for getting that bank. Uh, for getting the roadside mowing done. Oh, so oh good, 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 good. Coming that, down the other oh, road. Oh, right, right. You did a very good job. Well, I'm glad. Where, where is it now being mowed? It was uh, the intersection of Reeds Bridge and Truce Road comes. When you're coming down the hill, weeds are so high you couldn't see if anybody was on the lower road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it made kind of a dangerous situation. Wonderful. Yeah. I'm taken care of. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's nice to hear we did something. Right. <laughs> we didn't do it. Not, <laughs> we, we didn't do Thank we you, Tom. We didn't do that again. I'll take this chair back out. Nice to see you. Yeah, it's about capital improvement. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So we have no old business, I believe. No old business. We see you good on that. Peter Freeze is here. So, so we do have some new business. Okay, can so, you get out? Yeah, I had another question. Uh, Peter Freisen has. Uh, we'll be requested um, Ron's here as well. reimbursement. Oh, if Ron's here, yeah, better better hear him. Is Peter here at all? Peter is yeah. here. Peter is here. But Ron's here right in the same hallway. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ron, are you out there? Oh. He was. He was. Uh, look, look, Ron's here. Good. Okay. Yeah, there he is. Okay. Peter was put on first because I think he would be quicker, but maybe not. It would be nice if it were not. Come on in. You want us? Yeah. It's hard for me to imagine voting against our assessors. You know, yeah. a recommendation. It's a clear. Yeah. Uh oh, Malcolm left his hat. I'll go get him his hat. So, something to sign. Okay, you got the um, Fitzgibbon's criticisms yes. or suggestions. Okay, um, we have addressed the payment schedule one, which is probably the most substantial. We have a new contract and it stipulates holding $4,000 uh, until we get an occupancy permit. Right. So is this the first we've seen? Uh, this yeah, this just happened today. Yeah, yeah. It's the same contract, just the numbers. Everything's a different. Different. Yeah, the numbers That was nice of him to, nice of them to yeah. be in yeah. agreement with that. Yeah. Because technically the agreement was already something else, wasn't it? Sort of, no? That's good. Do I have uh, the two copies of that? Uh, I have two copies of it. Yes. Yeah, good, good. One for that, one for him, one for us. Yes. Ultimately. Yeah. Yeah, it had been one thousand, right? For the final thousand. So it's gone for, uh, from one thousand up to four. Yeah. Yes. Yep. So the, great. One of the other yeah. numbers. Yep. Yeah. Lord. Yeah. Yeah. And the two other things that he talked about, the hazardous materials, I mean, I think that's not an issue. And uh, the third one he mentions is, is, this is fairly standard language, but I wanted to make it sure the board was aware of this, of course not. So hopefully we have satisfied you guys. Yeah, I, I think we're good. I, I mean, you, you've satisfied the attorney, which is, you know, which is where we were taking our lead, and, okay. like we should. Yeah. And he better come up with some recommendations if we send him something. Otherwise, what's the point of paying the bills? I, mean, <laughs> I could just rubber stamp everything. That's true. But I mean, um, you got an attorney on the board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell him. Um, no, I, thought I would yeah. have been okay with the status quo, to tell you the truth. I think it's good. Okay. It's, a good it's a change in the good, even better direction. I wondered about it, and I thought, he's such a good guy, and he's working so hard for us that... Well, maybe it's all right, but I, I I see this suggestion as being valid. Yeah, yeah. How's how's the blasting going? It's going. It's all done. All finished now. I never even heard any of it. As of today. It's you. Good. Man, no reports of frightened children. 
Oh, it wasn't the children. No, mushroom clouds in the during during recess. But the school still standing. You know, the the, the wells yeah. are still working. So that, yeah. This guy was good. Ron really picked a good guy. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to move that we approve this contract. I'll second. Do we design? I think so. That's not the one we have. So it would be the this one that you gave us? Is this the one? one? Yeah. And I'll one say I have you say I. I. Right? Yes. You seconded it, so is that an I? But yeah. No. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> right. This one's this one, it's the new number six, four thousand at the time issue. That's right. This is it. Yeah. So. yeah. so this is a good one for us to sign. Are we signed two? Uh, well, last time you signed like board one signs. and we gave it right. we made copies. From our one yeah. We could make a copy of that one for our records and give him the original. He gets the original. I always wonder if it's legal to sign with the felt tip. I don't know why. It just yes, it is. seems wrong to me. So. The legal to sign with right a crown. I used to send my tax returns in on crown. <coughs> Nine sixteen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you get a copy back. Great. Okay, so I'm going to copy, copy for you. And don't we put this one up in our file? That's the old one. No, that's a new one too. Came out too. But we just signed one, so we. Why don't you sign both? We could sign both. Sign both and have him sign both and just get one back. He's already signed. Oh, okay, so that's fine then. He's signed by PDF. That's so. fine then. Yeah, just sign, just sign that one so we both have signed copies and everything's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, both have originals, more or less. Thank you. Forward, forward, forward. <laughs> quickly, quickly, too. This is nice. Mm -hmm. So are we still looking at a fall town meeting, special town meeting? Okay, I sure hope so. I think Ron and I are nervous and I'm sitting down with him on Wednesday and I think we're going to have to sit down with him frequently to keep him on this project. Yeah, yeah. Um, the interesting upcoming event is on the 23rd is the bid opening for the storage building. September 23rd. 23rd. I think it's a Friday the 20th maybe or is it Monday the 23rd? Friday the 20th. No, I think it's this a Monday, actually. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought it was the 20th. Um, I'm pretty sure. I thought it was odd that it was on a Monday. 23rd is a Monday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll check on you know. Yeah, well, uh, let me know. And is that going to be at the FERCOG? Or? Yeah. Yeah. 2 p.m. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good. <laughs> So that is next Monday. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, right. so we'll, part's hopefully over. we'll be back shortly in a couple of weeks with another <laughs> request for the select board. You, you'll give Tom a hint ahead of time. Oh yeah. Okay. So is this? That's a sign. This is the one I'll give him Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to see him. All right. Yep. Thank All you right, very just, much. Just stay on it. Thank you. Thank you. So Peter. Yeah. How are you? Hi. 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 Peter. I'm no see. <laughs> so. So you're going to Vermont. Uh, I went to Vermont. Oh, you went to Vermont. Yeah, right. I went up for a couple of days. Just uh, this weekend. Just uh, ah. Couple, yesterday and the day before. Yeah, uh, Friday and Saturday. Okay. Uh, I went to a workshop on preserving historic cemeteries. Uh, that was put on by the Association for Gravestone Studies about. Um, All right. Um, 
uh, preserving um, cemeteries and was, um, with a specific emphasis on what to do with old stones that have toppled, cleaning, um, things like that. It was well um, worth the, um, the trip up and um, I've learned some nice things and uh, some good things, well worth it. And um, yeah, eventually I would like to um, see about putting on a similar workshop here in Conway, um, get working on the cemeteries that we have here. Uh, they're historic and well worth preserving. And you, you had uh, done an inventory right. of gravestones earlier. Right. Um, I'm just about tied up, uh, finished up with that part oh. of it. Mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more to do. I uh, had some health issues and get in, <laughs> in between. So, um, but I hope to finish that up this winter. And so we would be in good shape to have um, uh, a workshop here in town um, um, in the spring sometime. Yeah, I'd love to see the grant application for the LIDAR research, the ground penetrating radar. Yeah, that would and, be and, right. No, I mean, that, that's yeah. what Deerfield did, and they found out really neat stuff in their role, and, and be, because there was all kinds of rules in the very beginning, um, not just, you know, not just race-based, but, um, you know, gender-based and other things as well mm -hmm. that were like, that you can learn through yeah, and that uh, radar, that radar. that around the edges of cemeteries oh, and in the no, spots that don't have tombstones, okay. there's a reason for that, and that there's really it's a hidden history, deep stuff. So yeah, I think so, in some of the older cemeteries, there's probably information like that that would pop up here in town, and um, so. But so you you would lead a seminar and teach people how to do this, uh, and then yeah, well, well, my uh, thoughts is that I invite one of the people that put on this uh, yeah. thing because they have both the equipment um, and the experience uh, to give. I think you know, the novices could do some of the simple repairs, uh, like you know, setting up uh, headstones again right. um, and cleaning, that kind of thing. But there are other heavier monuments and they have tripods and winches and things like that. You know, that mm. when I went to the talk a few years ago, the guy that is in the valley that does it, that cop, what is, I, I don't remember his last name, his first name was Kai, K-A-I, um, but he is a company and he did, he did Deerfield's uh, he had a big CPA grant from Deerfield to do yeah. their sem all their cemeteries. Yeah, uh, one of the guys that was up in Windsor this weekend um, has also done quite a bit of work um, with Deerfield. Because um, a lot of them, they can identify the specific sculptor of most of these, and there was only a handful working, mm -hmm. and they, they would work for a few years and then pass it yeah, off to I, another. Yeah, there's somebody that lives in Amherst that's into this kind of thing, and he's been up to some of the Conway cemeteries, yeah. and he can identify I people. Love, I would love to uh, hear that talk. Um, who worked on, you know, the older stones. Uh, We've, uh, I've taken him around to a number of the old cemeteries here in town, and um, quite interesting. How long has it been since that kind of restoration work was done? Um, I think some initial work um, was done maybe 10 years ago, uh, mm. but the group didn't get too far with uh -huh. it. Uh, and in working on the you know, inventory, you know, I've found that there are a lot of stones that have fallen over. Uh, in the larger monuments, uh, you know, um, they've toppled, and it would uh, be quite a chore to get these back up again. But you know, there, you know, there, you know. You would have to, you know, remove it, and, you know, level the base, get some 
a firm foundation and then start slowly. Somebody who knows yeah. what it looked like originally. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, but you can kind of figure out, you know, what it looked like. It's just a matter of, you know, putting together the, the pieces back together. Yeah, yeah. But um, it was, you know, well worth the effort and made some good contacts. But one of the reasons that I'm um, here tonight is that there was some expense on getting up there. And there was the mileage and um, there were two meals. Um, and, the, uh, you know, I would like to get at least that. But you got, I don't, you got a receipt for the gas, right? Um, I got the mileage. Yeah, um, okay. he doesn't yeah. need a receipt for the gas. Okay, yeah. Yeah. you know the mileage. Yeah. All right, we know the mileage. Know the mileage. Uh, and um, and uh, I uh, so at least initially I would like that. But I also took a day off from work, uh, Friday off from work, so I missed a day of work. And I'm, I'm one of those jobs, if I don't work, I don't get paid. So I like to throw that. Uh, um, oh, and, and I put in two days yeah. worth of. Uh, so, I mean, I'm, you know, willing to meet the town halfway uh, yeah. <laughs> on this. So, I mean, I, uh, I, I, I was intrigued by that because I, I, I don't know that there's any policy about that or that, yeah. that, 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 you know, once, if you say yes to you, do, you know, what's yeah. the situation when the That's next volunteer fear, yeah. wants to, you know, um, what's a select for your selectmen that have to miss for a training? Um, that miss a day of work, you know, whatever. I thought about that too. I was like, boy, that would have been nice to put in for We it. do have yeah, a long history it. of, of yeah. funding trainings, like EMT training. Mm -hmm. but, and, but we've n never included missed work. Uh, yeah. And uh, like, I, 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 it might be good to put in a policy or let town meeting vote on something like that. I thought that I was kind of, that's a, that's a big thing to ask us to start. A, mm. Uh, without like, I don't know. That just that that seemed to me like a and my, ask. my longer term kind of thought was, um, there there may be enough interest in town, and I I really hesitate to say this, knowing how difficult it is to get volunteers for committees. But people tend to volunteer only for the things they're interested in anyway. There might be people who are interested in cemeteries, who would be willing to take on the job of cemetery commissioners for Conway. Right now, the Board of Selectmen is the cemetery commissioners. Because they're not active cemeteries, there's not a lot of work to do, and it's much more of a historical um, function. And more people might be interested if they weren't having to, you know, sell grave plots and things like that. Uh, I there is always the possibility that someone is interested in, in being buried in one of the town cemeteries because that's where their family's buried or that sort of thing. And that would be something that the cemetery commission would do. Longer term, I think it might be best for there to be a cemetery commission and have them get stipends for the work. Or if we're moving away from stipends, which I would like to in general, not necessarily for all positions, but then have hourly rates. Um, for for some positions, but for something like that, I think a stipend would be appropriate, and that would go some way toward yeah. um, giving people something for what they're putting in. It's just awfully hard to. I, I thought, so but, that that kind of makes sense, but that's a lot be, different. But than that's longer the ad, term. ad hoc kind of deciding like whatever. Right. I, 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 like what I was thinking is mm -hmm. you know that um, because he, he was away for a day that there is. Uh, you know, I don't know what the per diem is for lunch, whatever that we, you know, going to Vermont, you got to eat too, like whatever that there should be a per diem for meal, whatever. What I don't know what it, what the IRS is, whatever the IRS is, whatever the bill is, but I know, um, you know, yeah. the, this the census people are fifteen dollars per day for lunch, whatever. So I, I don't know, but that's you can eat lunch for fifteen bucks. I don't know, but that I thought that was a. An appropriate thing to be. But, but did you have your receipt for the food? I mean, uh, you, you, well, you, well, you, well no, I mean, that's got, the point. But your list well, included that. Yeah, um, yeah, the meals were twenty dollars uh, each day, and I haven't gotten my canceled check. Back yet. I, I, I see. I yeah. Mean, I, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Was that what the registration fee was for? The registration yeah, was twenty dollars yeah, per day. Yeah, okay. it was. 
for you. So it included the meals. Great. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 It included All right. The meals. So. Um, so that's paid through the registration yeah. fee. Yeah, that'd be in, fine. In this so, case. Um, but I, I appreciate that you yeah. started your talk though by saying, "I'm hoping at least the town will meet me." Part way, so, right? So yeah, right. Yeah. It, 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 that made me feel much better when yeah. you when you said that. Yeah. No. Yeah. You know, it. I. My family's been in town for forty five years, and we're still newcomers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and, I, and I know, yeah. I know firsthand that you've done really great work on this. Yeah. On and the you know, I have done a lot of volunteer work on yep. this project. Yep. Yeah, you know, as it is, and you know, but you know that, you know, water under the dam. We're so fortunate to have and, all of the volunteers. But you know, yeah. part, part of the thing is that I think we have a really valuable historic research resource in the cemeteries here. Right? You know the, uh, you know they go back. You know, centuries. You know, I know where the first resident of town is buried oh. here in town, and we've got some famous people and not so famous people, and um, you know, people I knew, knew, and you know, my 45 years here. Yeah. And, um, you know, you know, it's just. I'd like to see the artesian well fountain. Yeah. You know, oh, back in, back in, back, yeah. in, back in action. I've never. I would like to see that too, but I mean, yeah, they are a historic and cultural resource that I think we ought to be protecting. And you know, um, you, you mentioned yeah. CPA money that yeah. funded this down in Deerfield. Hmm. I mean, we have hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of funding. That, that yeah, I mean, each cemetery was a couple hundred thousand. And we do have CPA involved. money. Yeah. Um, and I think that would be a good way to get started. There are, there's the CPA money, and there are also some trust funds. Yeah. Um, the yeah. The, the trust funds are immediately available. Yeah. Uh, the C.S. Boyden Trust Fund has a lot of money in it. The Joshua. But not compared Boyden, to the CPA money, right? The Joshua. These are for cemetery care. Yes. So yes. very specific. So very, yes. But you also have a bunch of mature trees that could come down at any time and could be expensive yeah. to deal with. And then there's the fine line of you know the Howland dollars. and Pine Grove cemeteries <laughs> are not technically not town cemeteries. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're they're uh, right. Yeah, right. this does but, not include Pine Pine Grove or Howland. It's only the historic cemeteries. Yeah, the out of yeah. what we. I think traditionally referred to as the outlying cemeteries. So how are those managed, those two cemeteries? There, uh, <coughs> there's a Conway Cemetery, uh, Conway, I forget what the, uh, Conway... There had, there had been a commission which no yeah. longer but is functional. My understanding is that they're, they're struggling financially, yeah. both of those cemeteries. That it, well, that, uh, that, we're not talking about Pine Grove or Howland. I right? know, yeah. I know, right. but my okay. understanding is that those right. two, and that they might be. Uh, I'm asking about those two, though. What it can, you know, can they, it be completely private? Yeah, but, yeah, but at one point, I think those two cemeteries were originally town cemeteries. But about 1900, they created this Conway Cemetery Commission, and they broke up. Hmm. And, and now they're struggling financially. To you know, perform you know, to mow basic, the lawn. Yeah, are, basic are they lawn. still accepting burials? I mean, do they make, um, do they yes, make money? Yeah, that those way? are the yeah. active so, cemeteries. Okay, cemetery. yeah, yeah. But still, you know, the number of new burials. Very few people get buried anymore. Yeah, oh. um, that are coming. In, you know, it's not, and that and the you know interest rates right now are. Yeah, virtually nothing. <laughs> so, could we perhaps focus so, on? So I mean, I think we have a consensus here. Yeah. But you, yeah, you, anyway, you, you want to yeah. propose a motion, or, or um, you, you have you have some figures, but yeah. but they're a little higher than I, yeah. I thought because uh, uh, well, well, it's the I, two days and all yeah. that sort of thing. I what I worked up was this. Uh, I came up with eighty-two miles. Um, Four trips, which was 238 miles at 
58 cents a mile, which is yeah. the I I IRS reimbursement. So that would, just for the mileage, it would be $190 um, dollars and change. Is what okay, I that's cool. Yeah, I got 189.54. So. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. we're mm -hmm. we're within pennies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he, um, he went from his house. I went from the town office. Yeah, so. uh, um, I right. was. Uh, I can. Uh, so that's the mileage. Yeah. The the means, registration so, yeah, is and, forty dollars. Yeah, um, I, so. I used Google Maps from my house. <laughs> um, yeah. To where it was, and they were telling me it was eighty-two. All right, miles. great. So I'll make a motion to reimburse the total of two thirty for the mileage and the meals. Two thirty twenty-four. Peter frees him out of the fund. So I, I do think that's what we settled on, yeah. and so okay. I'll second it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 And I'll vote aye. Yes. Okay. okay. So, um, do you want that? Or? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, and right. and uh, uh, I, I'll. Um, yeah. I, I, I can uh, yeah. take care of that. Uh, cross out. Whoop. Where's my pen? Circle that. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. This is yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Thank you. And if I can have that map, that would be very helpful. Okay. <laughs> then, then, I, then I can submit it for you. Okay. So, um, if that's helpful. Mm -hmm. And um, I'll work on on getting a workshop together for next spring. And yeah, actually, that that too, because that gives the uh, that gives the forty bucks for the two days. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. And have that too, because I have all of that on my computer. Or is that the? Yeah, I just need um, I just need this. Okay. I think uh, this has the. Um, yeah, this one mentions the twenty dollars. Yeah. Cut fee covers yeah, yeah. Uh, lunch and material. Yeah, and for some reason this one doesn't. So. Um, Interesting. Okay. So that Beautiful. yeah gives documentation for. Yeah. Um, everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what you think, but this really feels like something the historical society might be able to do a talk on. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we talked about that before. Yeah. Um, I mean, especially if you're going to have a workshop to gin up interest of people to see a talk about the historical nature of the cemetery and why writing the stones and whatever else can happen is an important thing. Uh, yeah, we had one a few years ago. There's a guy that wrote a book about de uh, death rituals, called colonial death rituals in the area. <laughs> oh, uh, and they were really macabre. People got really into it. I mean, yeah. they posed it, their dead relatives. Yeah, some of the old like, pictures. With, with really, with like, in, you know, they did all kinds, and, and you know, picnicking was really popular for a while. They, the colonial, like, it was still common in other cultures to go, like, celebrate at graveside. And uh, have part whatever all that. In know, one of the town histories, there is a reference about people used to picnic at Pine Grove. Yeah. They had that fountain for one thing, so it was kind of a tourist destination. Mm. Yeah. So. Yeah. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. One other thing is that they put up a stop sign at the dump on Thursday morning. And I'm glad, I, I live up past the dump. And oh, as you exit the dump out onto? Uh, on, the, onto the, Old Cricket the, Hill the road, road, yeah. And there's finally a stop sign. It, like two weeks ago, somebody pulled out without stopping and I had to come to a dead stop. <laughs> huh. So you're just so conditioned and no traffic coming from there. Yeah. You don't, you've, at some point yeah. you forget to look. So, um, yeah, I wanted to put my two cents in. Okay. Uh, Today has been a meeting of signs. We've just been talking about bus stop signs. So. <laughs> yeah. Are we going to have a bus stop, a uh, bus coming through town at some point? Uh, school buses. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so.
Thank you. Okay, Thank you. great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Town Academy. Uh, you had earlier agreed that it would be a great idea to have a tax flyer go out, but there wasn't a vote taken, and uh, we need a vote, and so I look forward to that. So I'm going to move that we actually vote to include those in the in the mailing. In the tax flyer mailing. Yeah, yes. why don't you move yes. that we include them? That would be good. So moved. Okay. So moved. <laughs> yes. Yes. Second. So, Aye. yes, yes. 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 <laughs> All in favor. Yes. All, right. All in favor. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. I don't know how we got away without having a vote, but... I actually yeah. heard from somebody that's planning on attending, so there you go. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> that will be good. The more the merrier. So one more. We, uh, we have a request to make Frontier Regional School members special municipal employees. Yeah, so this sort of... Uh, I don't know, you know, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot to go through. So one person can do a recital. But Amal, she's a nice lady, Olivia, and um, Deerfield struggles to get good people. So, uh, I guess what will be involved in doing this? It does so feel it's, like a lot. You're you're issuing basically a waiver from some of the more practical and useful uh, ethics regulations. That's the. Because for, that, that's what it does. It's a special thing for towns of under of our population, and uh, that basically uh, you're a lot, you're, you're, the ethics rules no longer apply for because we're so small, we can't properly function without them applying. Well, without, with, with the, you without still them. have to file a disclosure, right? And, right. And it, it it just makes it a little bit above board. But uh, the same way that the administrative assessor is a special municipal employee because she's also a member of the Board of Assessors and therefore would theoretically be voting on her own compensation. So theoretically, as a member of the Frontier Board of uh, a School Board, uh, this woman would be, would be voting on her own compensation. I trust that she would recuse herself from that vote, uh, but that's the sort of thing you have to think about, that you would, you would still be, by your presence, exerting some sort of an influence so this will make you a special employee too. It would, which raises the question of whether you should recuse yourself from the vote. But seeing as how there's no immediate financial benefit to your doing so, I don't have a problem. Right, I'm perfectly willing to recuse myself from if you I, want to table it for whatever. I, I, I don't. I, I don't think it's necessary. Because yeah. Okay. If you go along, I mean, uh, yeah. No, it's you're okay with you, and yeah. I trust you. Yeah, I, I think. It's, It'll take all four towns to vote to do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. And if any, if the, the, only, the town that I thought, if, if Deerfield's going to go along with that, then we should too. I mean, that's, uh, you know. It, this is, I think, comes under the heading of things we have to do because yeah. the paperwork burden is so high. In order to keep on doing things we would have done naturally anyway, we have to go through this exercise. And, and, and uh, well, okay. The issue is, I mean, in order for her to get paid... Yes. That, that. Yes. And I, I just seeing the amount of effort that she's already put into uh -huh. <laughs> obtaining okay. the the you know the you know the attorney general's written opinion. I thought, well, you know, that's more work than we're going to be putting into this vote. So it's okay with me. So do you want to make a motion? Sure, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll make a motion to. Uh, to Approve special Appro municipal appro approve special municipal employee status for the school committee members of the Conway Grammar School and the Frontier Regional School uh, that, 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 that fall under our jurisdiction. That fall under our jurisdiction. Does it have to be both or no? Just no, frontier? just Frontier for this. Oh, just Frontier? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you got that change, Lisa? I'll say good. Okay, so I'll say yes. I accept or I second. And now you take and the vote. All in favor? Yes. Yes. Well done. All right. Okay. So items anticipated in 48 hours. I don't have any. I don't have any. Uh, town administrator update. Here we go. Some news for the planning board. Um, they write 
One question resolves around, revolves around the use of the word premises in our bylaw. Um, this is their, um, sorry, I, I should have made this into more of a, a uh, prose. Um, this came from an, an email. I just copied it in. Uh, they're, they're, they have a question which revolves around the use of the word premises in their bylaw, which has certain requirements that might not uh, apply when there is a portage business which in which the location where you register is not the location is not the whole location where the event takes place so they have asked um, town council for to review the bylaw and um, see whether or not there uh, what needs to be done in order to allow this business to take place even though we have restrictions on the number of cars in a premises or the number of uh, people in a premises. Uh, so your statement here where you say as background, is this an example of an overly complex sentence? Well, no, this is the crux of the issue in dispute. I get it. Yeah, I, I just didn't uh, sort of translate it into, a, into an informational thing. It's a, a direct snip from their from their email uh -huh. um, this is the question they asked town council uh, so we'll be hearing about it one way or another it's remarkable how it's many people issue. are interested in this specific issue uh, mm. never never heard a single comment against the company mm. just a universal support please do something to make sure they stay here mm. um, it's been noticed specifically how much effort they put into picking up litter in the area oh, good. and that they make that a central part of their business is to go out there every mm. pickup, every drop off they're out there with trash bags mm. picking up the litter that everybody else leaves too mm. and as a town of volunteers how screwed we would be without someone picking up the litter because there's a lot of people at that spot so. yeah. uh, also Mr. Winston Burt has returned to town and would like to schedule a hearing regarding his complaint about his neighbor's geese I will reach out to the select board and the other party and try to reach a time when everyone can attend. Great. Since it's unclear how long such a meeting would last, it might be best to consider having it a time other than the regular select board meeting. I agree. Mm. That's an invitation to have it, having it last longer that way. But well, um, the, so this would not be, this would just be a meeting. It, it would be the select board acting as the agricultural commission to have a hearing on this matter, uh, and that's no mediator involved at this point. Well, we, we would be the mediator. Yes. Or, okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The judge, jury, and executioners. Hey, let's hope. Uh, the historical commission believes they submitted an invoice which was not properly processed in FY19. Um, I just got news today, so this second part doesn't make any sense. We did actually encumber those funds. We will not need um, town meeting to pay a bill from a prior year. Um, a copy of their letter to the accountant is in the mail. Our accountant um, actually answered that question today. His reply is also there uh, in case you're interested in, in reading that. Um, so this got a lot simpler though. Yes. That's good. That's, yeah. The person that submitted those or the person involved does a lot of good stuff for the commission and for the town and it's a shame to visit frustrations upon people that do yeah. good things. Um, I'd also like to give a reminder to everyone who might be watching that the finance committee needs new members. They are now down to three, the minimum required. Two more volunteers and even more to make up a bench would be very much appreciated. Uh, in departmental news, I'm pleased to say that the new copier has been installed here at the town office. It, has, it is sturdier and has more functions than the last one and cost about the same, even after five years. There have been further complaints against dogs on Graves Road, another uh, letter in the mail about that, though no further evidence has been submitted aside from eyewitness testimony. Both the animal control officer and the police chief are aware of this and alert for any nuisance activity. So would somebody have to come before the board, bring a 
photograph? Or well, something? we're we're uh, not not necessarily at this point. We can uh, you know issue more more tickets. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we want to be very clear and careful when we do that, and have it be very very well done. Uh, the ground blasting for the new highway facility has been completed, um, and some of the larger rocks were not blasted. They were actually pneumatically hammered, um, and that process is almost over. Uh, all of the major pieces have been split up, but more may be found. In that case, there will be a little more hammering, but all of the noise should be done as of today. Uh, the highway and superintendent plans to keep the rock, crushing and using it as appropriate in his regular work. Uh, that was the item that, uh, uh, no, it wasn't the item that was removed from the, uh, from the other, uh, from the meadow over there. That was a sorter. Um, uh, finally, the fire department needed repairs totaling $10,939 to get an inspection sticker. There's only 7500 in their repair account, so they may need a reserve fund transfer. They'll bring this up at their budget meeting with you this winter. Uh, depending on the end of year situation, there may need to be a town, town meeting action in May or a finance committee action in June. Just letting you know there was a... There was a so is this to a vehicle or was this to their building? Vehicle. The, 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 the vehicle. vehicle. Yeah. Wow. And that's that's the news. So we have a little bit of mail. Um, so so th th this is a letter about the dogs that I'd really prefer not to read, but it's it's quite long thing. and involved. And but I do urge you to read it uh, individually. And, yeah. Uh, describing uh, you know. A, a, a similar incident to what happened before, but to a, a new person who had never experienced it before and was disturbed. And based on that, um, we are approaching the owner again, uh, and I look forward to hearing a report Yeah, about that from the animal control officer. Yeah. And... Tom mentioned uh, a, a reimbursement that maybe wasn't covered, and then it turned out that they found the right. the, the, the money was actually encumbered, and we can now pay it. So well, this, we, this is we, we still need proof of payment. So this is a letter from the accountant that will yeah. that requests that he provide a proof that, that uh, a canceled check or a credit card or something, just that proves that he paid it, and that yeah. he wants that reimbursed. So. Um, this is a, a, a letter from the MMA. They're looking for comments on transportation. Um, if anybody's interested, we could provide this, but yeah. it should be no. free. Ratepayers shouldn't have to pay for buses or subway. And that'll be the day. Um, Riders, I mean, riders shouldn't have to pay. So, so this is a notice that we are approaching the the end of our franchise agreement, and we need to schedule a, what, what's called with, an ascertainment with Comcast. With Comcast, and we need to schedule an ascertainment hearing, which is basically ascertaining that uh, what all of the issues are that people in town are looking for, and to make sure that Comcast is in compliance. So, so it's, it's a, this is a, it's something we do every ten years when we do the. The, the Comcast franchise agreement. I saw New Hampshire passed a law that requires Comcast to sell individual channels, to sell the, the um, which if they can actually do that, then I want to do a bylaw that lets us do that as well. In our town? Yeah. That, that won't happen. I would, but, just, but I would love to just pay for a couple of channels and the, just the rest. I, I'd love like, to see what that New Hampshire law was. But yeah. 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 Well, then yeah. it would work to have a bill at the state level that would allow that. There are some channels that you don't like and probably don't watch that actually pay Comcast to be on the, your channel selection. I'm sure. And so by you not buying them, you know, same, somehow that same way they end up negotiate. Same way they end up your Google News feed. Absolutely. You're just like, oh, 
What? And so, and so this is a notice about um, a, a, a summit hosted by Richie Neal uh, on October 2nd, coming up, uh, at Berkshire Community College. So economic development. It's uh, Berkshire Community College, October 2nd, 12 o'clock. Tempted to go just to see if he can identify that he actually represents the town of Conway if someone asks. But, <clears throat> my guess is he's never stepped I, foot I, in the town. He was here right after the tornado. He I came know, from the tornado. I know. Yeah, yes, one, one presser. Yeah. Fat lot of good that did us. So are there any announcements? I have no. no. Our next meeting, September 30th. I hope that date's right. Here, at the, me too. I'm just, just thinking about that, but I think that's two weeks from now. Yeah, and then and then we have an executive session, and so we are going to adjourn into executive session, and we'll we will. Um, well, you make well, that's part of the motion that you make to. Uh, so, yeah, make make a motion then. So so I make a motion that we go into executive session and we will adjourn. From executive session. Um, yeah, adjourn immediately in open session after coming out of executive session. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the motion. Okay, what he okay. said what he said. So I make I make a motion. Do you so, so, so we need to have a we uh, need to roll call roll vote. call vote. So yes, an aye. Yeah, and excellent. So, so.